All right, uh, Jim, the next question, uh, we'll start with you. Um, State Auditor Mike Foley believes that tax increment financing, or TIF, is being overused and that it's having an impact on our property taxes. What are your views uh, about uh, using TIF and has it been used too much uh, in Columbus? I think TIF is an extremely valuable tool when used appropriately. I would invite the Auditor Foley to Columbus to look at our books. We have done everything the law lays out in the way that it needs to be. I'll be the first to tell you, when I saw some of the original articles that Auditor Foley had in the paper, I sent our staff a note and said, wow, this is going on, how, are, how do we look? And they responded and told me how we look. I feel very comfortable with it. TIF is a tool. TIF is an ability to use another opportunity to try to grow our community. You know, when somebody says, I don't think that belongs there, the first thing I want to remind them is, it went somewhere where nothing was. What we've done is take an empty space and created value. We've deferred the increase in that value for a few years, but we now have that in our community. So yes, I think it's a tool, it's a good tool, like all tools and like all methods, it needs to be managed correctly, it needs to be watched, and there are limits that you can set on it. And, you, and, it, and it's limited. There's only so much you can do by, by legislation. So yeah, it, it is, in my, my take, a very good method of growing our community. Bill? Well, Jim and I disagree a lot on this one. I was there and I was at NPPD and I worked with the state when they started TIF. And it was, as he did say, it was for blighted areas. TIF was to come in where there were places where the town had maybe died and uh, help it somehow with tax increment financing to build maybe a quick shop there or a, a new grocery store in these smaller towns. It was really made up for the little farm communities who were dying back in the 70s, starting to die. Uh, some of them have done very good with uh, homegrown grocery stores, etc., that use TIF. The bigger cities use them with their buddies to um, take, uh, say, they need uh, a new front to the building. Um, they'll, they'll give them tax increment financing. It has nothing to do with the blighted area. It has to do with uh, non-taxation to help them finance that. The other thing it does, it hurts our schools. Property taxes are for the schools. And any time we use TIF more and more, and I'm not saying just Columbus. I'm saying many, many communities 